Hello everyone, my name is Fasten Emperor, and welcome to the first episode of How to, Sur uh, How to Survive series. So basically, I'll be just doing guides, I guess, to like random servers I join, or um, basically any other game. Um, so, so today we first ever episode we are going to talk about one of my favorite servers for multiple reasons some reasons more than others um we are going to be talking about Kodak PVP uh the first semi RP but I'm sure this can be used for the second one too but you barely see anyone on there so don't really need a guide to that just run around hunt kill and loot but anywho so um semi rp so we're basically it'll be like a list of like 10 so this little series is going to be a list of like 10 things you want to do and like stay away blah 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 blah, blah. so that's basically what i'm going to be talking about what do's and don'ts the first server is in Washington and uh, it's uh, there's multiple uh, safe zones there are um, four safe zones I believe Dex uh, Dex, Maddie, Lieb L-I-B-E L-I-E-B -E -E -E. I don't know if I'm saying that right uh, and uh, Dolph zone so so uh, dudes, make a route. You probably won't make a route for this server just because of how many people are on the server. Like, literally, it's crowded, like, 24-7. Like, 24 people max. Like, all the time. Unless you, you are, like... Alright, so, if first, first off, if you're new to the server, um, go to less populated locations. So, they're going for the big loop. Because uh, literally everyone's there. So military, don't go Seattle. Don't step foot in Seattle. Don't step foot in Seattle. <laughs> the needle? Yeah, you, they take sniper positions up there and you kind of die. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, stay away from the Needles, stay away from Seattle, stay away from Millie, stay away from, that actually might be the three stay away from, so loot everywhere else besides that, um, so the routes I run is actually small military, uh, outposts, so that's like really good. For like money runs, if you're going on money runs, then you want to hit um, the small military al um, outposts at the end of each place. Uh, you also want to hit up heritage because literally, and I don't know why, but like they don't go to heritage much. Um, they're yeah, they don't really go to heritage much. I don't, I don't know why, but like literally all there is is like modded guns and here's the reason why you only want basically modded guns fact number two modded guns for the Kodak RP is the best way to get money if it looks like it can be sold it can probably be sold not all guns can be sold though sadly you're probably gonna have to sell that uh, for yourself like once you get a shop so like the some guns surprisingly aren't allowed to be sold would be the carbine, um, small carbine, um, and the M249, I'm pretty sure, you can't sell those, um, third fact, even though, alright, so everything you loot is not all you can get, so there are multiple ways you can get guns by, like, buying it with currency, which is seen on um, everything, so the ID list and stuff is 
all on like all in the modded pages. Uh, so you basically you gotta hunt down the mods and get the guns basically. But some guns are really OP and they're really really they're good. Um, the HK416, I this is really good. Uh, you don't see it a lot at the ASLs, but like you need to get one of those. Um, AS valves and um, what else? The L11. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Um, it's uh, L something. Okay, it's like a little tan and a little bit of black. It's an AR. Okay, it's good too. Um, you might find them when like because people who like play the server a lot actually know those guns. Um, you will see the M4A1 the carbon a lot because. They're not really expensive, and you, well, they are expensive to a certain degree, but you're not going to be able to, um, you're going to have abundance of them since you, uh, since you can loot stuff. Um, what else? Uh, you probably want to start a shop. You start a sh uh, like, start a shop. Um, I gotta think. Let's see, what else? Would you probably want? All right, start. Um, jeez, my bad. All right, first thing you want to do, start shop. You like really? Well, not really necessary start shop. It's that's kind of like off to the side. So let's put that all the way down number ten. Um, let's see. Number three, you probably want to do stay away from groups of people. And here is something that really does bug me, and they have to change. Like this is something they probably are like going to need to change it's like it's it needs to like it has to change if you want to fix Kodak or like RP it, this has to change you have to put a time limit on your TPA admins please if you're listening please put that in like 10 seconds is all I'm asking or 5 5 even 5 seconds can mean a difference in a gunfight like literally you kill one person they can TP, um, they can teleport back to their teammate, and which makes people who play like solo, which I was for a long time, um, like really difficult to run, like actually win gunfights. Um, plus, I'm bad at the game, so it just makes it worse. Like, literally, it's just, it's a struggle. Um, what else? Um, so please, admins, I beg, um, put in like a 5 second, 10 seconds will be even better to like, t uh, TPA. It's, it's just, it's nonsense. Once you kill that person, you need, pick up only guns. Trust me, you only need to pick up the guns. Um, pick up only guns, really. Um, and then... If you're like me, you'll probably hide in a corner and then do slash home real quick as while watching that one corner they can only come by. So, yeah. Number six, I'm pretty sure we are on. Number six, you want to. Uh, Alright, so you're out scavenging, right? There's gonna be a whole bunch of ammo laying on the floor from like. from past gunfights. First thing you wanna do as soon as you log into the server. Read the boards or ask one of the helpers or the admins about the rules and they'll probably link you to like the Discord server or something. Uh join the Discord server also I do do like your voice and stuff. Um Join my Discord while you're headed too, like why not? Um but what you're gonna want to do is read the rules because they are limits and you're gonna have to follow them because they do take their stuff, well, most, some ad helpers and admins take their stuff seriously and they will, like, don't race around Ken Runway because they will delete your car, bye bye car and all your money that you spent on it. Unless you found it, then you're, you're kind of, it's probably, like, not that big of a loss unless it's a cool car, like a Bugatti, like, racer. Anywho, just basically follow the rules. They will punish you for not following the rules. Do not say so in camp. Everyone hates to say so in camp. And you would as bannable. It, they ban people for it. And you lose all your stuff. So it's, just, it's not worth it. Okay.
But yeah, that concludes how to survive Codex RP. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you like. Um, leave a comment. Maybe put down in the comments what what tips I might have missed. Um, so shout out to Aries, Katie. Um, Aries for sending me that 30k. I when I first was beginning, that's uh the server. Uh, for helping him, and it was either Young Aries or Aries himself. I'll remember, but I think Aries, I think it was Aries, the number one player in the leaderboards. Um, shout out to Aries, and Gaby was kind of like a kind of one of my bodyguards, I guess. I don't, I don't know. They're, they're cool people. Uh, Angel of War also helped. Shout out to him, he's a helper. Um, shout out to Demo, uh, and Reaper. Yeah, uh, let's we'll see if I can get a shop open. Um, this, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing during this video. I don't know, I, this is really just a voiceover. That I'm gonna have to edit it down. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.